Uh, absolutely, there's hope for. There's no denying all, all those negative trends, but for all those negative trends, there's bright spots. There's bright spots of good fisheries management where we've turned things around, and there's bright spots of coral restoration, and we're just beginning to see some coral reefs in Palau and places like that that we've recovered from massive, massive, massive bleaching events. So I think the trick is recognize the trend, look for the bright spots. Corporations are in the business of making money, but what a lot of people don't realize is their biggest cost is employees right now. And employees are driving corporations to act socially responsible and environmentally responsible. 90% of many corporations' expenses is employees, and they're pushing corporations to be responsible citizens. I'm very confident we could feed the world without destroying the world, but we have to be smart about it. And we have to be, th be thoughtful and not be ideological. And that means embracing technology, aquaculture, GMOs, embracing these sort of innovative solutions to food productivity while being mindful of risk to the environment. So I think w one of the ways of uh, bringing people around is, is, is to label food by outcomes, not by what I call brands. And the outcomes will be health, you can evaluate it, how it is healthy for you, and outcomes will be environmental outcomes. And if you categorize food for health and environmental outcomes, you would find that sometimes GMOs were much healthier, much better than organics. Uh, climate change is probably our biggest environmental threat right now. We don't have forever. We had five to 15 years to deal with it. It's gonna be hard, but yes, absolutely we can. And there's two things we could do. One is we can make our environmental systems more resilient in the face of the climate change we're already committed to. And that'll mitigate a lot of its bad effects. And the second thing is, right now, start the transition to decarbonizing the economy. And there are steps underway to doing it, but you know, we get tangled up in these political arguments. Everybody needs to just face that it's a problem and let's just get on with solving it. You know, ordinary citizens, um, probably underestimate the impact they can have. The, the, most of the innovation that's happening in environmental issues right now is happening in cities. Ordinary citizens are connected to the political processes in cities, and they can encourage their cities, they can encourage Los Angeles, Portland, New York, Miami, to do experimental things to cut down on emissions, to do experimental things to make more sustainable foods, to do experimental things to protect their, their coastlines. And that's a real target of opportunity for ordinary citizens.